So now we'll take a look at the self-image triangle. Let's break it down further. First of all, we have the reasonable. And the best way to describe what's reasonable is what is deemed acceptable. Now, even then, that is still very ambiguous because what, again, might be accepted to me may not be acceptable for other people. So, and the reason, this is why it actually has to fit three uh, characteristics, not just the one. It can't just be reasonable because it's too open to opinion and interpretation. But let's just take a look at this for now. Any defensive action must be deemed reasonable in conjunction to the initial attack that is undertaken. The term reasonable is something that can be that can vary based on the opinion of one person and another. Okay, so what I might think is reasonable, you may not. Taking it a stage further, one person may feel it is reasonable to resort to physical violence when an item is stolen, whereas another may not. Okay, so let's say um, someone has just stolen your car keys. You may think it's totally reasonable to punch them. Other people around you may not. Okay, but to you that was still very reasonable. Does that mean that how you're feeling is wrong? Well, no, if you felt that was reasonable in your head, you've rationalized that and you've said that it's correct. Okay, now it's not for me to say whether or not it is correct or not, but in your head, you've justified it. You've said that you're saying it's acceptable to do that action because of what they did. Okay, so it's really important we consider that. Now we need to go to the next stage. Okay, because this is why reasonable on its own cannot be the only defining feature of self-defense and the rules that govern it, okay? Because we all have different points of view. So we then go to the necessary. This is the must part, and this is really important. So it must be reasonable, and if you really justify that it's okay, must. Any defensive action must be deemed necessary in conjunction to the initial attack that is undertaken, okay? This means um, that um, it must happen and there is no alternative option at the time of the initial attack. So it must happen. You, you, you've justified it so it's reasonable you do it, but must it happen? Must you do that? Okay, let's have a look. So do you need to hit someone if they hit you? Is that the only option you have available or is there a better alternative? So basically at that time it happens, and this is really tricky because we, we understand fully that how you feel two days later or two weeks later will very much be different to how you feel in that moment. And it's really important you understand that it's actually how you feel in the moment that is very, very crucial, okay? And if you, um, someone could say to you, could you have done anything different? And your answer is yes. Or even you ask yourself, should I, do I have to hit them for that to work? Do I have to get physically violent for, in order for this to be better? If the answer is no, then you shouldn't be doing it. Okay, so whilst your, re your rationale, your reasonable thought justified what you're going to do to hit that person, you also then say, but do I have to? And your answer, if your answer is no, you shouldn't be doing it. And that's one of the key reasons why a reasonable uh, force, reasonable on its own, is not enough to define whether or not you should be doing it. So we then go down the must route. Is it necessary to do it? If the answer is no, we shouldn't be doing it. We should seek an alternative where possible. But then we go to the final part to our triangle. The proportionate, okay? We need to make sure it's in equal measure. It's in equal measure, okay? So any defensive action must be deemed proportionate in conjunction to the initial attack that is undertaken. So it must be proportionate. It must be in equal measure. This means it needs to be in equal measure to the attack that is or could be carried out. We're going to get to, into more detail about that when it comes to the preemptive strike shortly, okay? But the attack that has happened or could happen. Now, so the example here, is it is proportionate to meet physical with physical and non-physical with non-physical unless a situation requires different. So for instance, okay, equal measure, if someone hits you, you hit them, or if someone's going to hit you, you hit them. If someone's calling you names or being um, verbally aggressive, that you, in equal measure, could be verbally aggressive too, okay? So that's an equal measure. If someone calls you a name, okay, it's not equal measure to hit them. Okay, that's unequal, okay? So that's not proportionate at all, okay? There was no need. So that comes back to that necessary thing again. Because even then, meeting physical with physical violence, okay? If you don't have to, it's not necessary, you shouldn't do it, okay? Because there is a better option, okay? So we still need to make sure, even if it was a proportionate, okay? Like for like, weighed in balance, however you want to put it, it still needs to be reasonable and necessary, okay? So... But we also have this thing that could be carried out. If we believe something's going to happen, 
Okay, is it proportionate to do something before we believe it's going to happen? We'll look at that in the preemptive strike. But hopefully this is starting to help you understand that reasonable on its own is not enough to make a correct judgment call. Okay, so when it comes to um, proportionate, we need to make sure it's reasonable and necessary as well. When it comes to reasonable, we need to make sure it's necessary and it's proportionate as well. And when it's necessary, we need to make sure it's proportionate and reasonable as well. And hope that makes sense that we actually use the triangle as three pivotal points, okay? Three pillars that are gonna help you decide whether or not to carry out your action or not. And also, here's the, um, the crazy thing. You need to think this uh, like this like instantly, okay? Instantaneously. You need to come up with that thought fairly quickly, okay? Let's take a look at the next stage.